Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 48. Today we explore a little known feature called Gmail Labs. So did you know that Gmail has its own mad scientist section with crazy experimental stuff? Yeah, it's been there since nearly the beginning of the product and it never really got a whole lot of love unfortunately. In fact, it's been hiding in the basement of Gmail settings for so long that it looks rather archaic. But don't let that fool you. There are still a few labs here that can be useful. We're going to take a quick look at two of those labs that are still stuck in the labs feature, as well as some features that graduated into regular Gmail settings. So where do you find this Gmail labs? You click on the gear icon and then you choose settings. And within that, you go over here to labs at the top right. So the two that I want to show you that I think are still pretty dang good are canned responses and the preview pane. Now I personally don't use the preview pane, but I know a lot of people who love it, who swear by it. And these are mostly like Outlook users or people who've been using email for a long time. So to use these things, the first thing you need to do is click on enable, and then you can go over here and click on save changes. Yes, it does not save automatically. Again, it's kind of an old feature. Your Gmail will reload and then you'll have access to the labs. Now, the first lab we did was the preview pane. So you'll notice that our tabs here that we already have, they are now, they actually split now. It's kind of a split view. So you can see the subjects here and then the body of the email over on the right hand side. You can control this behavior at the top now. You'll see a new button there that allows you to choose whether you want to have no split, and that's the default setting, or vertical split, or even a horizontal split. So for those of you who are kind of used to the Outlook feel, this is actually pretty awesome. The second lab that I'd like to show you is the best one, I think, and that is canned responses. Canned responses allows you to save some text and then insert it into any body of any email without destroying the rest of the email. This is really handy when you have a, a certain text that you'd like to put into emails on a regular basis, or you've got certain emails that go out that say the same thing every time. So to do a canned response, once you have the lab turned on, you simply go into your email um, and you type as you would. So let's say I was sending out a uh, responding to someone with our lab calendars. And so I'd like to put in the link to our lab calendar there. Um, but I always have to go look it up and I always have to go copy and paste and all this other stuff. I'd like to just have that just on command. So to do that, you pull down this little arrow down here next to more options and you choose canned responses. Now canned responses is an old lab and it never did quite get upgraded all the way or adopted. So it still has some really bad UI elements. And that's my biggest complaint about it. The insert, save, and delete sections here are very hard to tell the difference with. And so there's the difference between inserting a lab calendar, saving over your lab calendar, or <laughs> deleting your lab calendar one is kind of vague. So anyways, I would come in here and choose canned responses and under the insert, choose lab calendar. Now this is one I've already done, right? So I'll come in here and choose lab calendar. And that just puts in this little bit of text. So let's say that um, I had something else and I wanted to put in, uh, create a different one. I could do that. First thing you want to do to create a new canned response is wipe out everything, including the subject. So I would just come in here and say, um, check out our reservation options. And I'd put the link in here. Either paste it there and let it be just text, or I could uh, hyperlink this text right here instead. Insert a hyperlink. There, and that's it. Maybe that's just all I wanted to do with our canned response. So to save this, I go to more options, canned response, and then create a new canned response under the save section. And I might in this case call this reservation link. Okay, great. So if I'm replying to, um, and then I can discard this. If I'm replying to anything like that, I can just come in here and type what I want. And then, then go over here to canned responses and insert the reservations link, not save and continue typing. So that's really nice. Uh, canned responses can be used for rather large bits as well. We could come in here and choose uh, an interview offer. So then we say, hey, we looked over your stuff, click here and do this and, and so on. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Heck, why not support us and uh, click that subscribe button. Leave a comment or idea for a Tech Tuesday video below. Share this video with your friends. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.